Okay, students. Good morning. <coughs> Today we will do some question from class ten senior. The topic is square base pyramid. Square base pyramid. Okay, <coughs> let us do some question. Question number one. We have given that square base pyramid having length of side 16 centimeter, volume 512 centimeter cube. We have to find total surface area. This question is asked in 2017 in SC. <coughs> okay, let's start. Question number one. It's solved. Here. You know, the square based pyramid, length of side, length of side of the square base A equal to 16 centimeter, volume of pyramid. Volume B equal to 512 centimeter cube. Total surface area. PSC equal to question mark. Now, we know that <coughs> volume equal to volume B equal to 1 by 3 times a square yards. Well, yards is a vertical height of square base pyramid. Or volume is 500 together equal to 103 times a square that is 60 square per table. Or five hundred two will multiply with three all up on sixteen is two hundred fifty six equal to yards. Here for vertical height yards equal to two, we can find <coughs> five hundred two will multiply with three and divided by two hundred fifty six. It becomes six centimeter. So vertical height is six centimeter. After this, <coughs> we can find its slant height to get PSA. Then slant height we are equal to square root of a by two on the square plus s square is equal to the square root of a is 16 so a by 2 is 16 by 2 c square that is 6 so it becomes under so the square root of 100 is 10 centimeter again finding S and L now <coughs> we can get total surface area total surface area equal to area of base A square plus area of four triangular faces AL so this equal to 16 A square plus 2 times A is 16 and that is 10. This equal to 576 centimeter per square. Thus, the total surface, thus, the total.
surface area is 576 centimeter square. Okay, students. First of all, <coughs> by using bosom, we can get vertical height. Then, after getting vertical height, we can find slant height of the pyramid. After this, finding slant height, we can get total surface area. Okay, and now let's go to question number two. Okay, students, look at here. On question number two, we have given that in the square base pyramid, length of square base. Length of side of square base that is 12, that is 8 or 12 centimeter. Total surface area, total surface area is given as 384 centimeter square. We have to calculate the volume. Now, <coughs> question number 2 is also here. In the square base pyramid, length of side of square base. A is 12 centimeter. Total surface area. Total surface area. TSC is 384 centimeters. Volume A equal to question mark. We need to find volume. Now, total surface area TSC equal to A square plus 2AL, where A is length of side of square base and L is slant height of the pyramid. Or TSA is given as 384 plus 384. Sorry, this equal to a square. A is given as 12. So a square is 12. A square plus 2 into 12 into L. So that height L is not given. So from here we can get L. Or 384 equal to a square 144 plus 12 to the 24 L. Or 24L equal to 384 minus 144. Or L equal to this 384 minus 144. It becomes 240 divided by 24. Therefore, slant height L equal to 10 centimeters. After getting L, <coughs> we can find its vertical height. Then, vertical height L equal to the square root of L square minus A by 2 for the square. This equal to the square root of L is 10, so L square minus A by 2, that is 12 by 2. It becomes sixty four. Its square root is eight. Its square root of sixty four is eight. So vertical height is eight centimeter. After this, students, we can find its volume again. Volume is equal to one by three times. A square L yes. 1 by 3 A square is 12 square into height vertical height L yes, is 8 now it becomes 384 cm Thus, the volume is 384 
people sending me that clue. Okay, students. In this question number two, first of all, by the TSA, we can get slant height of the this pyramid. After getting slant height, next second step, we can find vertical height. Yes. And finally, in the third step, we can find its volume. Okay, students, now <coughs> we go to question number three. In question number three, we have given that lateral surface area. Yeah, let's see. It is also known as the area of triangular faces in the Spanish pyramid. In the Spanish pyramid, there are four triangular faces. One on the front part, another back, next on the right hand side, next on the left hand side. Except base, all are triangular faces. The base is square face. Okay, students, there are four triangular faces in the square face pyramid and one square face. Okay, we need to remember LSA means the area of triangular faces. Area of four triangular faces. It is lateral surface area. LSA. Now, we start question number three. Solution. Here, in the square face pyramid, then of side of square base. Then of side of square base A is twelve centimeter. And lateral surface area. Lateral surface area. Yeah, let's say is two hundred forty centimeter is square. Then we need to find its volume B equal to question mark. Now we can use power of LSA. LSA equal to area of four triangular faces. So two A L or LSA is given as 240 equal to 2 multiplied side of square base A is 12, so 12 into L or 240 equal to 12 to the 24 L. Therefore, L equal to 10 centimeter. 24 10 the 240. So, we obtain the slant height. After this slant height, to find volume, we need the vertical height of the square base pyramid. Then, vertical height is yes, equal to the square root of L square minus Ay to 1 square. Now, this is equal to the square root of L square that is 10 square minus a y2 that is 12 y2 1 square. Now it becomes 8 centimeter. After finding vertical height as we can get its volume again volume b equal to 1 upon 3 times a square l. This is equal to 1 upon 3 is 12, so a square is 12, 1 square. And height, vertical height is, as is 8. Now it becomes 384 centimeter cube. Thus, the volume is And 84 centimeter cube. Okay, students, in this question number three, first of all, by using LSA, 
you can get slant height of the square wave speed angle. After finding slant height, we can find vertical height L C. And finally, after finding vertical height, we can get its boson. Okay, students. Now we we'll go to question number four. This question number four. <coughs> we have given that the edge of the square wave pyramid edge is 85 centimeter, and the diagonal of the square base is 26 centimeter. Then we need to calculate its volume. Okay, let's start with solution. <coughs> Here, in the square wave pyramid. Is equal to 85 centimeter. And the diagonal of the square base, diagonal of the square base, B equal to 26 centimeter. We need to find volume B. So volume B equal to Question mark. Now we know that a is square equal to b by two or the square plus l square. Since look at here, I know it all. Up in the from the top of the pyramid. <coughs> then this becomes a right angle triangle O M C. So by using Pythagoras theorem, is it becomes H becomes hypotenuse. This half of <coughs> diagonal becomes base and vertical height O M becomes perpendicular. So by using Pythagoras theorem. We can get this direction. A square equal to half of diagonal square plus vertical height square. Now, so you have given that A is 85. So, 85 square equal to half of diagonal. That is 26 upon 2 M square plus L square. Or, H square equal to 7,225 minus 169 or s equal to square root of 7056 therefore vertical height s equal to 2 84 centimeter. After finding vertical height, <coughs> again to find its volume, we need its length of side of the square base. We need to find A. Then, in this triangle, A, B, C. Right angle triangle ABC. In this square ABCD, the angle ABC is right angle triangle. So we can use Pythagoras theorem for right angle triangle ABC. Then diagonal square equal to A square plus A square. Since AB is side A, this is also A side of the square base. So by using Pythagoras theorem or Diagonal is given as 26. So 26 is square equal to 2a square. Or 6 
Therefore, a equal to the square root of 348. After this finding a, we can get one again. One b equal to 1 by 3 times a square x. Where 1 by 3 times a square is square root of 38 whole square and vertical height is as we said before now it becomes students this was for today have a nice time see you soon